this is the body mount I took out to get to you know replace this metal here so this is the body rubber part of the rubber body mount this is the piece that was attached here it was attached right there like so so there was nothing really supporting the body there that was just there for looks so I gotta cut this little thin right here so I gotta repair this back a ways and uh, may come up to here and uh, this is all pretty solid so up in there so I won't have to repair that but I made a piece out of cardboard that I'm gonna get under the car and start folding it and getting everything to where it fits correctly and then I'll trace this onto my plate steel and cut it out and then I'll start bending it and fitting it and then once I get that piece and the body mount back in then I'll repair the all the sheet metal and I'll probably repair it out to here up and right to the wheel well all the way around and I'm gonna make it look like that so it looks right so it doesn't look like a cobbled up mess and uh, but that should support it there's no body mount there right now and the car body isn't moving or going anywhere so I think it'll be fine when I'm done this is just a brace you can see the two spot welds there literally goes from there around to there and that's it and they don't I can't find just that piece to replace it aftermarket or I, Sherman's auto body isn't too far from me and I don't think they make it they make trunk pans but they don't make the braces so I'll just fabricate the brace and then I'll just repair the trunk pan there and then the same back here this is rusted right at the where the brace went originally so those braces just got full of crud and held moisture in there and rotted it out I think I'll try and clean the one out over there so I don't have that rust out in the future but I think this will be I should have it done by Tuesday or Wednesday I'm gonna guess I'm gonna work on it all day tomorrow I might even have it done tomorrow but I gotta have a tooth extracted on Monday so I don't think I'll be out here Monday or maybe even Tuesday it might be Wednesday before I work on it again but it's looking good coming along I just wanted to make a little video with the body mount out and how I just kinda Make the piece out of cardboard, then trace it on the metal and cut it out. It saves a lot of time and work and wasting metal. And uh, I'll reuse the body mount bolt and stuff. The, I just gave this a quick blasting and ran a tap and die. Tap through that, die on this. And I can put that right back in before I... I'll have to put this back in before I uh, weld it in. I'll just get it all fitted with it out of the way so I can work them get the metal in and out and you know as I work it and then when I'm done uh, forming it towards ready to weld in I'll put the rubber mount back in and then I'll start tacking the piece in just not put any tacks close to this where I melt this so that's probably pretty durable it probably won't melt but it's coming along good and uh, you can see this with the light that's where the bumper is so this is the rear quarter panel and there's no rust on it I don't know why that paint was on it it's all solid down into there everything's solid in the quarter panel down there um, so there's really the worst rust was where there was no undercoating the passenger side rocker panel and the trunk here this is the this is the underneath here you can see that's all the rear quarter, sorry for the camera shadow um, that's all completely solid you can see where the gas tank is in relation to let's see you can see the light coming through the holes and the camera is up against the gas tank so I'll have to put some There you can see the relation of the gas tank to those holes. So I'll just put a little piece of sheet metal in there and then I'll have to get somebody, a friend of mine, to come over and lay here with my garden sprayer while I weld so when that undercoating catches on fire you can squirt it out. I can scrape most of it off with a 
putty knife or something, but it's still gonna need to have somebody watch it while I do the welding. And this, the inner wheel well is completely solid. It's just this dirt got up in that brace and just rotted out the, the body in the brace. And uh, everything else is solid. So, and the rocker panel on the passenger side doesn't look like it was ever rust proof. So that's why that rusted out. But I was just kind of wanted to show a little bit of what I'm doing on the car before I start putting the metal in and welding it up so you know you can see what's what's going on here Oops. sorry about hitting the camera on the body i hope that wasn't too loud but that's that that paint and that's why i was wondering what's wrong with the quarter panel why did they brush paint this well i can't see a reason why other than the paint got scratched up or something because there's zero damage to the quarter panel. No rust, no dents. So, yeah. And this all on this side of the trunk, completely solid. Trunk latch. Jacking instructions. So you can see it's all really a solid car. Other than where that stuff must have collected in there, I mean, that's just rotted out exactly where that, I don't know if there was a water leak. These have, sometimes they have little rubber drip hoses from this trunk channel down through the body and they rot. Or sometimes the window, the rear window has a, where the molding can drain. I don't know if you can see it up in there. Yeah, you can. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But there's a rubber hose up in there that drains that channel for the rear window. It goes drains out in the wheel wall. And if they rot or break off, that water just runs down in here and rots that out. So I will be checking those hoses to see if they're they're broken or not in the right place or disconnected or rotted to see if that's where the water was coming in. But the upper package tray, all that stuff's like perfect too. So, anyway, I just wanted to do a little video on the trunk pan or where the body mount was before I repair it. So, I have a tooth extracted on Monday. I'm going to try and work on it most of Sunday. If I can get it done, great. If not, I'm not going to worry about it because I don't need to drive the car to work or anything. So, I'm just going to putz with it. The Monday my tooth's coming out, so I probably won't work on it Monday or Tuesday. So maybe the end of next week before I have this done. But this is this isn't that bad. I'm gonna just make before I call it a day today. Cut this all out here, and they start making fabricating the new piece to weld in here. And then once I get all that done, then I'll make the sheet model for the trunk to weld it up, and then I'll move on to that hole and that hole and they're like mirror images of one another so I could just use, fold the pattern the opposite way it would probably work over there I'll putz with it and or make it easier because I'll know which way to cut and bend and what to do a little better so the rear ones being almost identical in size and shape will be a little bit easier than that thing to drain the channel at the that's around the back. If you take this molding off, there's a channel down in there that that weather strip sits down in. And there's a drain here and a drain on the other side to drain that channel. And if they get plugged up, the car rots out here. And if the hose breaks off or rots out, then the water goes in the trunk and causes this kind of disrepair. So I'm going to look at that hose closely. Before. Did some hacking out the rust. You can see that's the chassis in there. Um, so where the body mount was on the ear on the frame, I'm going to have to weld a little piece of steel in there. That's the body mount. Nothing wrong with the body mount. So I'll weld that up and get that piece in there and we'll call it good. It's looking good. I also have the door jar so that 
filler in there can dry. That's where, if you look at the past videos, you can see when I first welded the rocker panel on, it ended kind of here and over and out. And I had to weld some sheet metal in here to fill in that area. So I ground the welds all out. Probably when I sand that out, you won't see much of it left because there's just a little... I took the Dremel with a little like mill bit on it and ground those welds out to where it looked pretty darn good. But it's a new welder I have and it doesn't quite go down as low as amperage as my old welder. So I'm just not used to it yet. But I'll sand this out and that'll be fine. But I leave the door ajar just so it can get some air in there and uh, help, you know, with the curing. And I've been leaving the heat up in the garage too to help with the curing. Well, this video may be a little out of order. I just wanted to do a little video of uh, how I make this brace. So I make it out of cardboard, basically get it to fit. And then what I do is I straighten it out on the sheet metal. Or on this case, it's going to be a fairly heavy gauge steel. Trace it out, and because this is a heavy gauge steel, there's no forming this, so I'm going to have to put cuts in it. And I'll make the whole piece to where it fits in there where it's supposed to. And then I'll weld all these cuts up and then grind them so that it looks like one piece. And then I'll weld it into the car after it's all made. And then I'll weld the, make the sheet metal panels and weld the hole up. Now this fit where the sheet metal goes pretty good. So to save myself some work, I trace this before I did any cutting onto another piece of cardboard and then I can just add on to it to do the rest there and you know make all the little bits that will make it look right but it'll save me a little time and trimming out but this is basically what I do is I just make a template out of cardboard and once I get it to fit pretty darn nice I'll tape it in place you know get it all taped up and to where it looks right in right position right folds and bends then I cut it out of sheet metal and make it identical in sheet, and well in this case steel. This is going to be a little heavier gauge. It's going to be about the, might be a little heavier gauge than that, what I have. What I have to repair this is really thick, so I might just cut this, cut this off and out and then just bore a new hole in it. Um, it's, it's probably, this is fairly thick and it's about that thickness of piece of steel I have for that. So I just wanted to add this on. My camera battery is going dead and like I say this video when I'm done editing may not be in an exact good order. But again thank you for watching my videos.